With those who are able, please rise. Friends, we do gather for worship this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us begin our time of worship with a moment of remembrance. Remember all who served and the sacrifice they made for the sake of others. Let us begin our time of worship with a moment of thanksgiving. We thank God for great men and women that have given their lives so that we may worship without fear. Let us begin our time of worship with a moment of silence. For a moment is the least we can do for those that gave their eternity. Empower us to work for your kingdom in this world. 
mercy upon us. How are we doing? Everybody good? Everybody awake? 
no? You still got me? Okay, cool. But just wait for the sermon's next. <laughs> hey, got a question? A difficult, complicated question. Hold on, Doctor. Hey, Bella, what'd you have for breakfast? <laughs> You don't know? Okay. What'd you have for breakfast? You didn't have breakfast. What'd you have for breakfast? Applesauce. What'd you have for breakfast? Bagels. Okay. Now I got an even tougher question. What'd you have for lunch yesterday? <laughs> you don't know? No. What'd you have for lunch last week? You don't know. Should we ask that? What did you have for lunch last week? Salad. Is that what you have every day? Oh, okay. Sometimes we have trouble remembering things. You know, sometimes you guys ever have to take a test and do something in school, you had to remember something, you just couldn't remember it no more. How hard do you want to do it? We forget things sometimes. Fellas, you ever forget anything? Never. <laughs> Did forget something? Oh, you forgot to take money? Oh, and then you know we all forget things sometimes. And you know what? Can I tell you a secret? The older you get, the worse it gets. Right? Right? Yeah. Give you a nod. Come on, church. You know it. You guys remember why you're here this morning? Good. Yeah. We're, you know, today's a very special day. And, and tomorrow as well. It is Memorial Day weekend. And you know, in Memorial Day is the word memory. You got that? Yeah. And we gather to remember some very important people, some of which we may have had a chance to meet, most of whom we never had a chance to meet. But some people who made some decisions in their lives that have made a tremendous difference in ours so that we can come together and celebrate and enjoy and grow up and play and laugh and have a place where we can find as much peace as we can. So that's why we come together. That's why we have Memorial Day because there are people who gave their lives so that we can die. Thank hey, you. We pray together? That's right. You're done. We thank you for the gift of life itself. We love you, God. Amen. Thank you. Okay, here. That looks like it hurts. Okay. Let us pray. Dear Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Memorial Day weekend! Yay! The official, unofficial start of summer. Some get an extra day off tomorrow. It is a weekend of hot dogs and steaks on the grill, hamburgers, maybe even some cold gingling in the cooler, maybe, just maybe. And it's a great weekend. And I'm all in favor of hot dogs and hamburgers and steaks. And yes, even a little gingling in the cooler. But part of our struggle church as we come together to celebrate Memorial Day is that there are times when we get so caught up in the family gatherings and the hot dogs and the hamburgers and the day off that we just kind of forget what we're supposed to remember. And we are coming together this weekend in honor of all who served in the military. And I recognize that we have both Memorial Day and Veterans Day. But today we're celebrating all who served, those who journeyed through their 
course of duty and came home, and those who did not. So I want to take a moment as we gather here for worship this morning, that if you had the opportunity to serve in the military at any time, in any way, shape, or form, wartime, peacetime, I don't care what branch, I would like you to please rise. If you want to. Help things 
short way. I apologize in advance for anything I believe to apologize for. <laughs> Deal with it later. Second off, I want to offer a thank you to Eileen and to Ben for working with me on the project. I want to thank each one of you. The response was overwhelming. And I got more than I could use. And so I just ask that you would take a spirit of reflection and honor for folks who offered so Ready when you are, man.
go about our days and go about our weeks. And there are times, oh God, when we need to be reminded of those who worked incredibly hard so that we can gather freely. Those who served, those who came home, those who did not. God, we ask that you would continue to challenge us, that we can work together towards building your kingdom in this place. And building a society where there are no children who are going hungry. Building a society where there are no groups who are ostracized or marginalized based on how they look. Building a society where all would have enough. So God, we just ask that you would receive the offerings that we bring this morning, that you would multiply it, that we might use those offerings to strengthen this community and our world. God, we ask you to hear us as we join our lips with our hearts to pray the prayer that Jesus taught, praying our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please have a seat.
May we take what we have heard. May we take what we have seen. And may we use that to build better communities and a better world as we give honor this weekend. And may the blessing of Almighty God, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you. May His blessing remain with you.